So I've built my own barbecue. Let me talk you through the process. First up, B&Q, the home of legends. Just me walking around a masonry yard like I'm an actual man. Hope no one calls me out. That's 74 loaded up. Back's gone, obviously, already. Not a good start. Something they don't tell you in building school, which I've never attended, is how sharp these bricks are. Can really give yourself a, quite a nasty nick. Start by mixing the cements. I think that's the right consistency. That's what it looks like in the films. Do that. Stick it together. Oh, that doesn't look right. Obviously the ground's not level at all, but you know, we're working with what we got, lads. I'm actually already running out of cement. Quick tip, fill the holes up with gravel, because all the cement is falling into those holes, and uh, it's using twice as much cement. On the tutorial video I watched that was done by Handy Andy, he never mentioned this, so I'm sure it's wrong, but we persevere. Seven o'clock on a Friday, I'm a bit shit-faced, and I'm in B&Q for the fourth time. It's really taking its toll. Two bricks and a bit of cement, that's all I need to finish it, isn't it, Oki? So I haven't bothered recording it because it's been pretty hard work, back-breaking and really skilled. And Oscar's done it, yay! I mean, he's done it, made it look easy, brick. I'm well, just putting the last two bricks on now, as you can see, I haven't done it properly at all. There we go, what a piece of shit. I wouldn't recommend living in it, but I'm sure we'll be fine for a barbecue. Here we go, moment of truth, got the bottom bit in. Ten fair, fuck. 